Today, the Taipei city government prepared itself for severe Typhoon Maria as it headed straight for the northern Taiwan coast. City workers were seen pruning roadside trees and cleaning out drainage ditches to minimize storm damage. There's a chance Taipei may get a half typhoon day tomorrow afternoon. A decision will be made by 10 a.m. tomorrow. With the help of a mechanical lift, workers from Taipei's Public Works Department were busily pruning trees today ahead of the incoming typhoon. The Department of Environmental Protection was also hard at work. A seemingly endless supply of sewage sludge was scooped out from drainage ditches so that they'll work properly during heavy rains. As Taipei city government raced to prepare for the storm, Taipei Mayor Ke Wenzhe touched on the inevitable question of if and when locals could expect a typhoon day. Typhoon days are the nightmare of local leaders. They frequently get slammed over this issue. For the capital city's metropolitan area, decisions on typhoon days often can't be made unilaterally. Other involved parties are New Taipei and Jilong. After all, we are all part of the so-called Taipei Jilong metropolitan area. But Keelung's government has signaled that it might go its own way and make a decision without input from Taipei and New Taipei. The CWB has a new way of providing a comprehensive overview of relevant information through video conference. This is the first typhoon we have encountered this year. I think we will proceed according to the new regulations of the CWB. The center of financial and economic activity is still Taipei City. Based on what I know, 800,000 people from New Taipei commute to Taipei every day. So in the end, the decision that Taipei makes will affect everyone. The Taipei mayor stressed that the Taipei Keelung metropolitan area shared living quarters and therefore would make their decision together. He said that by 10 a.m. tomorrow, Taipei City would announce whether schools and offices would be closed for the second half of the day.